Guys, I want to show you this on this small form. Sorry about the background noise, but this is Bill Cook with Big Yield.us. Uh, I want to show you the plots. This is uh, some of our non-GMO corns uh, on all of our non-GMO products here. And this is all in furrow. Okay, now I want to walk over here and show you uh, some of the same products that we had the, uh, we had the, actually the, the University of Missouri, the, the folks come in here and do this with replicated plots. Uh, I want to show you this, this corn. This has no infurl on it. This has zero infurl. This is late corn suffering about 11 inches of rain in May. Looks really tough. Uh, we've got some issues and problems out here, but you can see, you can see this corn. I mean, it just looks absolutely horrible. Waterlogged, uh, denitrification. I know that uh, they're talking about a big crop of corn, but we've got lots of problems in this small corn, and there's a lot of small corn out here to rescue. So just take a take a look at this corn. Look at how tough it looks how small, spindly, thin, uh, looks, oh, it's uh, several, I don't know, six, eight weeks old. Same corn, I'm gonna walk over here, the same corn on the other side, uh, take a look at it. Now this has our uh, infurl treatments on it, uh, dramatic difference in the two corns. This is with our infurl, with our biological, this is the university planted this for us. They do not have the ability to put it on their planter. So um, no biologicals, nothing on this over here. Bill Cook, BigYield.us, signing off. Have a great summer.